That's yeah. my problem with that team. Right. At Denver, Ryan Russell, Scott Van Pelt Show on ESPN Radio and ESPN News. Joined now in studio, two of the biggest playmakers in college football. Huge shows for Arkansas's team this year, the quarterback, Tyler Wilson, and the running back, Nal Davis. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Thanks for having us on. I want to start with you now. How are you feeling, man? You ready to go or what? Health-wise? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 100%. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to get my, my first lick. Where do you rank yourself right now? I'm one of the top running backs in the SEC. And, uh, we'll let Marcus Lattimore know your response after you answer this. I've, I've had this question a thousand times. Um, I, I I feel like I'm the best running back, you know, just like I'm sure Marcus feel like he's the best running back and Christian think he's the best running back. I feel like I'm the best running back because I put a lot into it. You know, I, I, I know the game. I study it all the time. I work hard in the weight room to, to get my body right for the season and, you know, uh, that's just the way I feel. But you could understand people's concerns after you miss an entire season, right. even as explosive as you were in 2010. Exactly. I mean, I have no problem going out and proving myself because even in 2010 when I did what I did, I came out of nowhere. Nobody thought, you know, I was uh, who was now David. So, I mean, just another opportunity to prove myself once again and have no problem. Tyler, you are one of the better quarterbacks in the country, and you've been slinging it all over the place, putting up huge numbers. And because of the story, obviously, this offseason, Petrino out, transition to John L. Smith, how will that change your game plan? I don't think it'll change. I think, you know, you got to stick with what got you there in a lot of regards. So offensively, we're remaining very much the same with Paul Petrino being the offensive coordinator. So, you know, X's and O's are going to be a lot, very similar. Um, and I think, think Niles comfortable with that. And a lot of the guys have been around for five years. And, and I think if, if there's a positive that you bring out of this whole thing is, is that, you know, we kept that together. And I think a lot of the guys have, have remained close. And Coach Smith's been a, been a guy a lot of people are comfortable with. He's been around for three years. So, so uh, very, very similar to what we're used to here at Arkansas. And what's it like for you, Tyler, specifically because, like Ryan said, your numbers stack up on the best quarterbacks in the country, but you're playing against also the best. I mean, what's it like facing these just ferocious defense? Well, I think I think it prepares you. I mean, if, if, if you're going to compete, you're going to play. Let's play against the best. I mean, there's uh, that's the way I've always looked about looked at it. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want any controversy to say, well, they don't play in a big conference. They don't they don't get the best of the best. Well, no, we do. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if, 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 we, if we win, we're, we're going to be worthy of winning. You guys had Alabama your place a couple years, close game. Uh, last year, didn't go your way when you were there. You had the tough road schedule in the SEC West, having to go to LSU, uh, another one where you're testing yourself. How close are you to, I'm going to say it that way, getting over the hump, beating one of those two teams, the schedule stacks up better for you, and being thought of as not just, hey, that's a great Arkansas story, but a real contender in the SEC West? Uh, I think we're very close. Like I, like I always say, I think we're a few plays away from, from the outcome change. You know what I mean? If you look at all those games, it's, a few, if a few ch plays go a different way, you know, maybe we do get the W. So, and when we're in the game and it's like um, fourth, fourth and one, third and one, we've got to make sure we execute and get that down. And that could be the, you know, the difference maker in the game. Right. You use the you use the term getting over the hump. You know, I, I use the, no the the notion that hey, we're we're going to continue to keep knocking on the door, and we, you know, we've knocked on it a number number of times, and. And eventually it'll it'll come down for us. Um, I mean, the crazy thing, just to jump in, is you were number three in the country, right? And two right, other teams right. in the SEC you know, West, and yeah. I mean that's still number three in the country. That's an unbelievable accomplishment, right? Well, it is, it is. But you know, that's our, that's not our goal. Our goal is, you know, obviously to win the West, and and uh, those two other teams in front of us are in the West. So um, t t you got to beat them to get there. So uh, we've got both those guys at our place, which I think will bode well for us. Um, you know, and I think I think when you got I've, I've said this a hundred times, but if you got eighty thousand people cheering for us rather than against us, it, it it helps you out as a quarterback. I know, especially when we're trying to communicate, because is what I'm trying to communicate to my offensive line, Nile back there in the backfield, and the receivers. Um, that's a huge part of our offense, and and I think that's an underrated aspect of the game. I'm Dan Burke, Ryan Russell, talk with Tyler Wilson, Nile Al Davis, Mark and Shaw. We have Bill O'Brien here on campus, and he was talking about the whole issue of you know of uh, coaches taking advantage of. Fact that now Penn State players may want to go to other places because the postseason ban. Now I'll just ask you: Have you? I, obviously, it's different as a player, but can you understand what the Penn State players must be feeling, looking to maybe jump to another school? Oh well, yeah, obviously they're in a bad situation that they have no control of. You know, they didn't do anything for that to happen. Um, I can I can definitely see why they would try to make the move because they want to be able to play for a, a national championship just like everyone else. So, um, you know, I definitely feel for those guys, and you know, I hope everything works out for them. I wanted to finish on, on this thought because we had John L. Smith, your head coach, in the studio with us yesterday and I asked him about Coach Petrino. And 
And I get it the way things work. You know, your former coach can you know, make fun of it, laugh at it, but I think the school handled it as well as you possibly could have. I think the football program really has done a great job moving on from something that at the time was embarrassing. But I know coach reached out to you. What are those conversations like? Yeah, they were they were definite conversations. Um, I think there were there were some there were some feelings in there, uh, some remorse. Uh, but but uh, you know I I really stress you got to move on. I mean it's, it's happened. Obviously it was negative, not not the perfect situation for any of us. Um, but we we've moved on, and, and I wish him the best. And I think he, he feels the same way for us. And as you mentioned, the situation that, that we fell into, um, I think was was the best situation that could have happened. He was a guy. Coach Smith that have been around for three previous seasons. A number of guys inside the locker room are very, very comfortable with. And, and he might be a little bit different. He might be a polar opposite than the previous coach. But but uh, I think I think change isn't always bad. And uh, I think he has an ability to communicate uh, relation, uh, relationship-wise with a lot of guys that, that uh, you know was been, had been able to, to get through in the past. And um, I'm extremely excited. I'd ask you about the temperature of a, of a certain function, but we're just going to go ahead and leave that one alone <laughs> from uh, the media days. <laughs> that is Tyler Wilson and Al Davis. You guys are great to visit with, man. I hope you appreciate your time up here, and uh, hopefully get a couple wins there. Maybe we'll see you in September against Bama or the end of the year against LSU, all right, with game day. This is good, thank you. All right, again, that is Tyler Wilson and Al Davis of Arkansas football team. Up next.